kind of unmask it. Probably it's stuck. What stuck and what didn't stick. Ah. That'll tell you. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Somehow you unmask that last color and it's just perfect. It's just all that work and all that layering and you're just like hoping for the best. And then you just pull it apart and it's like, wow. Or it's not wow and you're like, dang, all right. I totally just made a mistake. So after three days of layering and masking, this is like the absolute best part for any painter. Anybody who paints knows or works on a project knows the unveiling, the unmasking. I have a memory of my layers. I figured we would just kind of unmask it and this is like my first layer of stuff, which thank you to FBS for this amazing tape, which has, from what I can see, it's great adhesion. You gotta find like a start. So much. This is kind of when you find out like, what stuck and what didn't stick, and what, you know, you find out kind of what is actually adhering and what isn't, because you just kind of hope. So everything is sprayed over a pearl white base, so that's evident off of that. There's also chrome underneath here too. So this blue tape, I use this blue tape a ton because it like does tight, super tight corners and this red tape from FBS, like this stuff is how I get these super clean, tight turns with this thick of tape, which is like quarter inch. Obviously adhesion is generally never a problem. Um, use good materials that you know I mean I use matrix but any you know any good quality good quality material you, sh you shouldn't have problems with adhesion at all <laughs> that sticks. That definitely sticks. You need to pull up one of these red deals. I absolutely love this red tape. I know some people have difficulty with it, but I heat, as long as you heat it up, as long as you heat that red tape up, it will always stay wherever you leave it. Um, but you do have to heat gun all this stuff down to make sure that when you unmask it, it, uh, it does not move. In other words, you know, I spent three days on this, so some of this stuff could move. Um, a lot of these are spacer pieces that I laid down. Are you ready? Let's see if it holds. Bam! Another one. Get that up. Get up. And there's so much underneath here, it's so crazy, and you like remember, you remember laying it down. And you kind of like, man, I never, I've never got to see it to this point yet. Because after every layer, I gotta mask it. Alright, ready? Let's see if this sticks. Ready? One, two, three. That's matrix paint right there. So it's hard to see. Some of the stuff looks like it's coming up, but it's really just tape. Shouldn't get too too cocky. And sometimes some of the edges you will have little issues and stuff, but I mean that's kind of to be expected. 
expected. It's to be expected. And this is all like the, a gold pearl mixture. And it's all off my matrix bank. All off my matrix edge bank. Um, a lot of the transparents I use, I don't use candies. I use base coats for them because I find them to be just fit my style a little bit better. Want to move over here, Jess? All right, you ready? Let's see it. That's the sticky test. It looks pretty crazy when you first look at all these colors. You're just like, dang. It doesn't even... It doesn't even make sense because there's all the different colors from the tapes. And the red is always for like super tight tight lines where I'm making, I need a thicker line, but I need to make a good turn with it. And then the red and the blue is what I mainly, the FBS red and blue is what I mainly use. Oh, there's a whole other color down there. I haven't even, I'm kind of excited to see what that blue, I feel like it should, like, should almost be like the ugliest thing you've ever seen, but then somehow you unmask that last color and it's just perfect. So, I'm kind of hoping that this is everything I wanted it to be. Ready? Let's see. Ooh. This is the molding chrome piece, followed by this chrome bumper. Okay, Sticks. Bumpers. All this stuff obviously had to be sprayed beforehand. Um, so spray everything silver, and that helps us out with the bumpers. My most favorite part, man, because just all that work and all that layering, and you're just like hoping for the best, and then you just pull it apart, and it's like, wow. Or it's not wow, and you're like, dang, all right. I totally just made a mistake. But this one. Dang, dude. Looks 
gold. If you I don't know if you can see it, but it's got that gold, that gold line that separates that white and ties in with that rich gold pearl mix. Top. Ready for this guy. Until I get stuck. kind of thought how cool it would look to do an actual car like this this year in Paula and all that. I think it would be pretty sick now that I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, that, that would be super sick. That would be super sick. Oh, yeah. Tinted front windshield, you know, you gotta have that. With all the with all the lines this car has on itself, it kind of paints itself, to be honest. Because the lines on it are so cool. And my dog has a tape fetish. Bubbles. For some reason he eats it, I don't know why. This is my first pedal car, I think. So, it might be my last. If you've done everything right and you've timed everything right, then um, everything should stick. Everything should stick. Should stick. 99% of the time it does. Every once in a while you get a little issue, but majority of the time everything should stick as long as you mixed everything properly. Thank you. 
Perfect. No issues yet. No issues yet. And that's always a good sign. Everything's sticking. No bleed throughs. This one because this is like the I'm gonna hit this in a whole one whole thing. This is it. Ooh. Man. Dude. This thing was so much work for such a small thing. So much work. So that's pretty much it. I have to do some work to the front lenses here. Uh, that's just residual coming off the thing. Sorry, Jess. So dude, that's pretty much it. Now my dog has all the tape he can eat on the ground. And uh, we've got one awesome dental car ready to be clear coated and tacked off and put together. No bleed throughs, no issues. Thank you Ines Daiwata for supporting me and making these amazing products that make jobs like this possible because if your guys' tape sucked, I couldn't do this. And all the fades and everything, the good spray guns and the adhesion, and good paint. Thank you very much. Boom! That's it. We're done. Now go paint something and unmask it. I wanted to say thank you to anybody brave enough to sit through this whole video watching me unmask this really cool pedal car uh, took the project in itself I spent a lot more time than I thought I would um, and probably than I should but in the end it always looks good and I never regret it I had a couple working shots just to give you an idea of what all went into this whole thing and of course some clear coat shots so you could see what it looks like shiny um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one don't forget to subscribe to the channel.